I have a question about um, converting our traditional IRA. Uh, it was suggested that during um, while the in, tax rates are what they are to get it converted to a Roth, uh, staying within our tax bracket. But I, I know you say maybe convert to a regular investment, but we're thinking about taxes for the kids later in inheritance. So which way should we go with that? I would do it in an investment account. Um, you know, the ta- the rules changed on Roth IRA accounts. So your kids are still going to now, – now they're going to be faced with if they get the Roth IRA, they've got to start removing the money and getting it out of there. So it's not like they can leave it in there for tax-free growth. Um, they have to have it out in a certain period of time. And so um, they're going to – you know, they're going to move that money into certain – taxes. If you have it in an investment account and the kids inherit it, then they won't have any tax basis. I mean, the cost basis will be um, the same as the sale price. If they sell all the stocks right away, they won't pay a nickel in taxes. So I, I think, I think it's just as well to be in an investment account. Now, um, you know, you may pay a little bit of taxes. So I think uh, in that, and, there, and, and there's no doubt about it, right now, today, at this moment, uh, Roth IRAs uh, and IRAs have certain tax advantages. I think we would be, based on all that we have seen in the last seven months, we would be just uh, totally oblivious uh, to the even uh, the thought that uh, things aren't going to change. Uh, they've already set a precedent precedence for changing, uh, the rules on IRAs. They did that year before last. And, um, that took effect this year. So they, or actually no, took effect last year. So, um, the, they can change the rules and they can do whatever they want. Um, we have an insurmountable debt and we're going to have problems in the economy. Like we can, we have never imagined and the government is going to look to qualified money. Uh, they have already done that. They did it in 2010. They looked. They ran the numbers. Both sides of the aisle uh, have been in favor of that and thought of that. They know it's going to be political suicide if they do. But I would suspect if we get to where they'd like to take us, uh, political suicide will no longer be an issue for them. It won't matter. Because they're going to get reelected time in and time again. It's not going to, it's going to be irrelevant. So I would, I, all I am saying from a, from a rather than to be, rather to be safe than sorry, I wouldn't put it in qualified money. Now, I may be totally wrong about that, or you may think I'm totally wrong about that, which is perfectly okay. And you might want to say, you know what, I'll take my chances and I'll put it in a Roth because they are tax advantage, at least now. So you'll take take your chances. I'm okay with that. That's totally up to you. I'm just giving you my perspective on it. For uh, a regular investment, how do the taxes work? So the taxes work that if you buy a stock and it goes up 300%, there's no tax on it unless you sell it. So when you sell it, then uh, there is going to be tax on, but it's not income tax. It's capital gains tax. So, for instance, if you were living only on Social Security and you sold a stock that was up 200 percent, it's not going to impact your Social Security because it's not going to be counted to you as income. So that's why very wealthy people don't pay any taxes. Uh, income tax because they live off of uh, uh, dividends that is not earned income and they live off of, uh, uh, you know, gains. So I I would, so the tax, there is going to be a certain amount of tax. And I would say the same thing about capital gains that I've just said, that certainly capital gains tax will go up. Now, the upside to capital gains tax, no matter what they go up to, if the If things go better than we expect and there is opportunity to change the uh, regime in Washington, one of the very first things that any new conservative president president coming in is going to do is cut capital 
gains tax along with other tax. So um, it's a little bit easier to do that than um, uh, replace something that's been taken away or changed by the previous government. That's that's not going to be able to happen. So um, that's how it works. So nothing you... You know, it's it's only tax if you use it, not use it, but if you if you take it by way of selling something that has gains. Of course, if you sell some things that are losses at the same time, that will help offset the gains that you are taking. And that's the game that uh, the wealthy have uh, uh, advantage to be able to play that game and they can almost do it without benefiting, without paying any tax. But uh, we're not all in that position, that's for sure. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.